Hey, what's up guys, Aaron here. So there have been a lot of people asking me, do I need to submit a claim by August 2nd for Celsius? It's been very, very confusing. Ultimately, the answer is no, you do not need to submit a claim unless you disagree with the amount of the claim that they said you have, or you want to opt out of the UCC's class claim. So very unlikely you will fit into that category where the amount of the coins is inaccurate and you are going to opt out of the class claim because you wanna pursue something on your own. So most likely, no, you do not need to file a claim. Now, I just wanna bring your attention right here to the screen. I'll include this in the link below. So you do wanna make sure that your amount of coins is accurate. Now, this is gonna be docket number 2311. And this is the amended F1 non-priority claim. So this came out about, uh, looks like March or so, if I can get to it, March 24th. So you do wanna check the amended F1. And what you will do is you will go all the way to the last page on page 116. You will click the first initial of your first name and then you will search for your name. You can use the magnifying glass and search it. You do probably want to open it up in Acrobat to just get faster response from the document, or you can just scroll through it if you want to find your claim. So just to give you an example, let me just open up H. I don't know anybody with a first name of H, but you will just scroll, find your name, make sure it's your exact name that you used in your account, you will then see here what it has for your earn account and custody account. And if it is accurate, then you do not need to file a claim. So again, you only need to file a claim if you disagree with this amount. Basically, if they're saying they owe you less than what you are owed, here, if it's more, I probably wouldn't file a claim saying that they're going to pay you more money, but you know what I mean. If it's less, then you will want to file a claim. And the UCC did mention this a few days ago, talking about the settlement. They said, if you would like to participate in the settlement, and that is what I am doing, that is what Simon Dixon says he's going to do, that is what most people are going to do. So most likely, if you're watching this, you will want to participate in the settlement. So if you'd like to participate in the settlement and do not opt out of the settlement, any proof of claim you have filed previously will be resolved in exchange for the additional claim amount of this 5%. So this also answers a few of your other questions about what if I submitted a claim last year or this year or months ago? A lot of people, I think 30,000 people submitted a claim. Well, what they're saying is that if you do not opt out of their settlement, which will probably get a chance to opt out in a month or two, I'm not quite sure, you can't do anything yet. But if you do not opt out, meaning let's say you don't respond to their email about the, the claim or the vote, and you just don't do anything, you will be settling, meaning you will be in agreement with this settlement. So you have to do something extra to opt out. So they say, if you do not opt out, any proof of claim you have filed previously will be resolved, meaning it will basically go away in exchange for again, this 5% increase in your claim amount, which I covered in my last video. If you do not opt out, which is what I am going to do, you will not be able to separately pursue any filed proof of claim. Okay, so if you don't opt out, meaning you don't do anything, literally don't do anything, all they're saying is that you won't be able to pursue them later, which most people are not gonna wanna do, because you're going to have to come up with the money to hire your own lawyers and go after people. Now, some people will want to pursue them and they will want to opt out. If you know you want to do that, then that's something you probably already know you want to do. And this message is not applicable to you. So a couple tweets from the community just confirming everything I just said. Crypto YOLO said on the ballot. Now, this is a ballot that we have not received yet. This could come in August or even September. So there is no rush. On the ballot, if you do not opt out or don't return the ballot, you will opt in to the class claim settlement and also settled your non-contract claims. So what he's saying is the same thing I just said. If you do not opt out, that means you are going to opt into the settlement 
and then you were also settling any previous claim that you had against Celsius. So if you did submit a claim earlier this year, alleging things like fraud and mismanagement, and a lot of the things I was talking about earlier this year, if you don't opt out, you will be again, settling and you won't have to basically remove that previous claim. It won't be uh, addressed. It'll be resolved, basically. So from my understanding, the class claim that the UCC is going to submit on our behalf will cover things like fraud and mismanagement and all the things that they want to basically universally uh, cover for us, things that are universal to basically every single creditor. So again, just to reiterate, the only reason, and then not financial advice, but my understanding, the only reason that most people would want to file a claim before August 2nd, if they haven't already, is if they want to opt out of the settlement so why would you want to opt out? It means that you want to hire your own lawyers and attack Mashinsky and attack Celsius. Or you don't agree with the document that I shared, which I'll link in the description. If the coins are massively inaccurate and they say they owe you way less than you actually have in your Celsius account, those are the only two reasons that you would want to file a claim. So I hope that makes sense and I hope that clarifies a lot of things. Now, before I end the video, just want to cover some scam emails that are coming in. Hopefully you made it to this point. There are some emails that people in the community are sharing, things that look like this. Uh, obviously, these are very, very scammy. Uh, Dropbox links to get your money and all that stuff. These are scams, don't worry about it. And uh, yeah, let me just share one more that somebody shared. Uh, this one, oh, again, it looks like it's similar. It's another Dropbox email. So these are scams, I would suggest, well, not suggest, do not click. <laughs> do not click on view file. Do not enter your public information. Do not do anything. There's no email that you're gonna get that's saying, oh, you can withdraw your money now. Like that's not happening. No one will be withdrawing money probably until the end of the year. So just don't fall for any of this stuff. So guys, I just wanted to make that video because there's been a lot of questions about it. Hope this was helpful. And I hope this kind of relieved some of your guys' anxiety and stress because this is a very stressful and frustrating process. But I will be with you every step of the way like I have for the last year. So till next time, guys, talk with you soon and bye for now.